It all begins in Genesis. Leviticus, in 30 seconds or less. The Bible is a communal library filled with harmony and dissonance, hope and lament, faith and doubt, questions and answers, and more questions to those answers. How do you react when you face loss? What were you made for, if not for this? How do you keep the forces, the gods and goddesses, on your side? People keep plotting evil, but God keeps plotting goodness. Even when every step is difficult, God empowers each of us every step of the way to the finish line. In the Gospel of Mark, we meet a Jesus who conveys a great deal of urgency. It's a reminder that the call from God requires a response, and there's no time to lose. When you look closely, you can see the fingerprints of God all over Naomi's life. Maybe God's fingerprints are all over your life, too. That a spark of hope can be ignited, even when life is in shambles. Your entire life takes place under a wide horizon of holiness and sanctity. You can't have The Force Awakens without a new hope, and you can't have the Gospels without Exodus. Both are accounts of how God delivers us from bondage and into freedom. We see the Spirit of God working in and in spite of Jew and Gentile, slave and free, male and female, inviting all of us to discover the movement of God at work in the world. To know where you're going, you've got to know where you've been.